Les méduses sont présentes. You can find huge quantities of jellyfish in European seas. In some areas, the number of blooms is problematic. Researchers here in Slovenia believe we could somehow take advantage of this proliferation, especially by cleaning up the oceans. Today, we're going jellyfish hunting. The Slovenian coast on the Adriatic Sea is among those regions affected by these destructive invasions. Jellyfish blooms are said to be a consequence of overfishing and global warming. Researcher Katja Klun studies local species, like this barrel jellyfish. She's interested in the mucus it secretes. So you can see there is the mucus, which is, uh, of course, an indication of the stress. Um, they want to protect themselves. In cooperation with Israeli researchers, this laboratory is developing a prototype of a filter for treatment plants using jellyfish mucus. Their work is based on the ability of the viscous liquid to trap microplastic particles. Now you can see here that it's uh, slowly absorbing, so you already see the green absorbed microplastics onto the mucus. Beyond that, we need to think about the sustainability of it. Um, so there is a need of more research, more projects, um, and studying, let's say, to not be dependent on the seasonality of the jellyfish, how to cultivate, uh, and so on. Should we fish jellyfish or grow them? These questions are being raised by a European research project called Go Jelly. International specialists came to Slovenia to present their studies about jellyfish and discuss the fate of this gelatinous animal who are now filling the fishing nets before being thrown away. The world is searching for new resources and new marine resources, and that is the word that blue growth is coming. Um, jellyfish shows, and also go jelly results, shows the possibilities of using this biomass for circular economy. Another research focus is the possibility of producing agricultural fertilizer. Jellyfish contain rare nutrients such as phosphate, nitrogen, and potassium. They are agriculture residues released at sea and absorbed by the animal. But scientists face many challenges, starting with conservation. If we choose to treat them fresh, we cannot keep jellyfish for a long time. Therefore, we need to preserve them according to various drying processes. Other challenges are, how can I bring this dried material to the plant? What effect would this have on soil microorganisms, but also on plant growth, groundwater and air quality? And why not eat them? An Italian team is working on it. Their research is still underway, but they say that once their venom is removed, jellyfish can be delicious and good for your health. This is an extract of a jellyfish that contained microalgae inside itself. So in this product, there's both jellyfish and microalgae. It has strong antioxidant properties, and we have demonstrated that it also has the ability to inhibit the growth of human cancer cells. Business opportunities or not, researchers stress the need for an environmentally friendly model. 